today you're unboxing the Umai Crate with Irene. Itadakimasu! I have a lap full right now of noodles that came inside of the Umai Crate. I think Umai means like mmm delicious or kind of good. It's not necessarily oishi but I think it's along the lines of like Umai. I don't know. Yummy, tasty crate. Maybe that's what umai is. I'm not sure. I'll have to look that word up exactly. So if I'm wrong, please let me know. Leave a comment below what umai actually means because when I purchased this, I just saw noodles and I was like, I'm getting it because who doesn't like noodles and, you know, Japanese food and delicious stuff like that. I've got these, so we're going to take a quick look at this and see what exactly um, is in this box. So it looks like the recipe that they gave me this time is a honey chili chicken karage. Oh, so that looks really good to try. So on this pamphlet that they give you, um, they list out all the items that came in here. It also gives you directions on how to cook each of the items if you cannot read Japanese. Tofu miso soup. So that's what we have is tofu miso soup, which is great because I love miso soup. Having miso soup is just a great addition to any meal so I'm really excited to get this. The next item is it's a miso flavored non-fried noodle and this is a Sapporo miso ramen so that sounds really good. So this is a soy sauce flavored ramen. So it's Chinese soba miso. So we have a Chinese soba miso. Ooh, what's this one? This one is a small shrimp tenri soba. I'm interested to see what these will taste like because I don't really eat shrimp and stuff anymore. So I mean, if it's shrimp flavored, so I'm wondering if it actually has shrimp in it. I don't know. And then I'm not a fan of eating veggies in my soup, depending on what they are. Like I don't like mushrooms or corn. And this shows corn on it. So I'm wondering if it has like corn already mixed in or if it's in a little packet. But I'm, I'm gonna try it. Kumaman udon with soup. So we have some udon noodles that you can heat up and it has a soup base. I'm excited to try this and the noodles feel really soft. It's not like how ramen noodles feel. So I'm excited to cook that. And these are, it's an udon soup base. So I can make more udon later, I guess. What is this? Ooh, this is a chili paste. So I can make spicy noodles. Last but not least, we have some Banshun no Ito Somen. So these are noodles to make soup. I would say out of everything in the Umai crate for May, um, I'm really excited about the, the soy sauce ramen and the miso ramen. So this is the soy sauce flavored ramen and this is the miso flavored ramen. And I'm really excited to try those where I live at, we don't have a lot of um, Asian markets or any place like that to go and shop. And I'm excited because when my fiance um, and I start living together, this will be a great box to have and we can practice cooking and making awesome food together in the kitchen. So, um, yeah. So this is a great box. Um, until I taste it, I'm not going to be sure if I can recommend this, but I'm, I'm quite impressed with the items that I got. It's a very nice um, variety of soup um, that it could give you. Ramen, you know, that kind of stuff. Udon. It gives you a nice variety of these different types of Japanese noodles. Quite pleased at what I had gotten in the box. And I'm excited to, at some point, go back and order again from them. Now that they offer express shipping um, for an additional $10.95, I can um, easily go and purchase this and expect it within two to five days versus waiting a whole month. I definitely see me ordering this box again, especially once my fiance and I begin living together. Um, I know that he's definitely going to want to eat noodles um, of different types pretty frequently. So remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for another unboxing. Um, I'm subscribed to these boxes and I'm expecting to get more in so you can find the right subscription box for you. Itadakimasu!